Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform visual keyword research using Infranodus so that you find out which keywords your clients use to search for a certain product or service, uh, in which constellations they search for them, so you better understand the topical clusters. And you can also find out what are the gaps between them, which can give you ideas for new products. Unlike other tools, you don't have to work with uh, spreadsheets or tables. You actually see everything directly on the graph. You see the most important keywords, you see the topics they form, you see how they relate to one another and so on. So it can be much more useful than other tools which are available out there. So keep watching if you want to learn how it works. First of all, you need to go to Infranodus, choose a new uh, SEO app here and choose keyword research. And then you type in a search query that you would like to explore. So for example, in this case, I'm just going to use keyword research directly uh, because I want to promote this product to the people who are doing keyword research. So I'm typing that in. And as you can see, Infranodus imports uh, suggested search queries. So it's basically what you see on Google. When you go on Google and you start searching for something like uh, keyword research, you see it recommends you some options here. So basically, Infranodus is taking all these options, in fact, around uh, 200 of them, and visualizes them as a graph. When the words are used in the same context, like for instance, in this case, keyword research, CO, they will be connected to one another. We actually remove the actual search phrase from the graph because otherwise it takes too much attention. So in this case, I'm going to, to remove keyword research. This is done automatically. And then I can quickly see what is the context around this search query. Uh, first of all, I can see that people are looking for free tools. If I click on that, I can see that they're looking for free tools for keyword research. So this is one insight that I can have. And by the way, if I like uh, some insight I find, I can save it into notes. So I just click here and it saves uh, the phrase, which is relevant in my case. And also I can see that many of them are searching for Google Keyword Planner and so on. So I know that this product is important for my potential clients. I can also save that. Let's say I knew this already. I knew that people are searching for free stuff and for Google Planner. So what I can do, I can select all of that. Then I remove it from the graph to see the patterns of keyword combinations that are hiding underneath. Okay, and what comes up here is that I see that people are actually searching for YouTube trends. So I can click here and then see on the left side, if you don't see it, you can click here to open it, in which context it's used. So I see that it's Google Trends YouTube and also in connection to YouTube, they also search for Google Ads YouTube, Google Keyword Planner for YouTube and so on. So I know that actually a lot of people are searching for the keywords they can use on YouTube to target the audience. So I can also select that in fact, I can only select YouTube. And then if I go to the analytics panel and keyword relations, it shows to me all the words it's connected to. And if I want, I can save all these relations to notes. So I get some more keyword ideas here. Okay. So once I save them a few times, what I can do now is deselect all the keywords and then add some more queries. So for example, now we used Google suggestions, the suggestions that Google provides when we search for a certain search query. Now let's use the suggestions from Google AdWords because they offer slightly different content. So we can add this into the same graph. Later, we can filter them also by source if that's what we want. And basically we will perform similar kind of analysis. So I suggest that you get all the words back. You look at the graph first, you see that, okay, the main topics are keyword research tools here, this, uh, greenish one then google planner is another one semrush so it's other alternative tools which is great because it tells me that maybe if i want to create content which is relevant for this search query i can also write something about the competition and maybe uh, what alternatives exist out there and then also how many monthly queries there are and then we have more topics here if i like i can actually save all these insights into my notes also so these are my keyword ideas keyword research tool Google Planner, SEMrush, Search Engine, Monthly. I can add actually volume here because that's what it's about. Save, then continue exploring. So once I understand the, this general picture, once again, I remove the most evident stuff, which I can do manually by selecting them on the graph and removing them. Uh, you also have the button here, reveal underlying keywords, which you can also use. And then I can see that, okay, free planner, 
this I know. Okay, so what comes up a lot are the actual YouTube trends again, YouTube search. So I can click YouTube search, see in which context it's used. So I see that people search a lot for YouTube keyword search trends. So this is definitely a very interesting topic for me. I'm going to save it and then when I create content uh, for this topic, I'm going to make sure that I also write something about YouTube to make it more interesting for my audience. And then finally, um, maybe some other things like SEMrush. Uh, I can see what else it's connected to. Trends, competitor, analysis, website, affiliate, and so on. So I can also save all that. I already saved it, so I'm not gonna do it right now. Okay, and then once again, I can slice off the surface layer and look underneath what else is there. So for example, website finder, website keyword finder. So this is a nice search query that I didn't think about. I'm going to add this into the graph. I'm just going to get keyword back, save it like that here. Okay. Uh, and I think there I have quite a good representation of what people are actually searching for when they search for keyword research. So I can write here keyword research, free tools, Google Planner, Google Ads, and so on and so forth. I can select all this and I can use the built-in GPT for AI to generate some content. So it just copies everything from here. And then I can say generate something that is related to this. And then it's going to produce this content. And uh, once it's produced, maybe this is a summary for a new article that I'm going to write. So I can use that to create new content, which is relevant for uh, my potential clients because they actually use those keywords to search for uh, the stuff that I want to write about. So this is how you would go ahead with the keyword research. Um, if you're interested to try it out, go to www.infernodos.com and uh, in the next video I will also tell you how you can study the informational supply. So we just looked at the informational demand, what people search for. The next step is to look at what is already out there and we can also use Infernodos to analyze that. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about these different SEO approaches. Thank you.